What up folks, this is 22 Comics again. Today we're going to be doing part 2 of the cleaning and pressing videos. This is going to be more focused on that chamfer pressing board that I had in that first video. Showing y'all like kind of how it works, what the concept is behind it. If you want to invest the money into it. Because you do got to get attacking iron. You're going to have to have something to steam up your book. And you're also going to need some parchment paper as well on top of this chamfer pressing board. Let's go ahead and let's um, let's take a look at some before and after pictures just to give y'all an idea of like what it looks like and stuff like that. I think I got a few of them here. Just to keep y'all knowing what's going on. Alright, so before we actually get into the tutorial, uh, do me a favor, and if you're digging what I'm putting out, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you get notified whenever I'm putting out new videos. I would greatly appreciate it. That helps me out a tremendous amount. So, uh, yeah, y'all enjoy the tutorial, and uh, I'll catch y'all at the end of it. Right now, I'm going to be turning on my wife's facial steamer. I'm using that to mist and heat up my books, get all the fibers and stuff like that loose on the paper. This is my chamfer pressing board. You can see me rubbing the edge right there. That's to let you know that that's where that bend is. The chamfer board has a slanted edge on one corner of it and that's to give you a good mold for the actual spine of the book. He's showing you it's facing up and I'm pushing it up against the spine on the actual book itself. I'm going to go ahead and clean the spine now because I haven't cleaned this book at all. I think everything needs to be cleaned before you do any kind of pressing. But since I'm just doing the spine here in this video, I just went ahead and cleaned the spine. Now I'm going to put it on the mister. It takes a lot longer than that, just so you know. I can't remember. I didn't do a countdown or seconds or anything along those lines. You can tell by the paper and the way that it feels on your hand about when it's time to let off. All right, there's my parchment paper on top. And as you can see, I'm just going to sit there and just roll right down the spine. I'm just going to sit there and go right. I'm going along the edge of it now, where the staples are. And then I just kind of roll towards the actual cover. And uh, I'm just going to heat the entire spine up. The whole thing's gotten uh, moist and loosened up. There's, I think, three spine ticks right there towards the middle. So I'm going to work those a decent amount. And then I got uh, a couple towards the top. That's me just checking. I'm sitting there rubbing the spine to see if I can actually feel the spine ticks. With that color being gray and silver, I can't really tell whether or not they're color breaking or not. So... I, th I feel like they are color breaking, and this is not going to fix color breaking spines at all. Um, but this will take away the divots and the actual indentations that are on the spine, but you still have the color break. Again, feeling the spine, seeing if I can feel the actual indentations, because that's the goal is getting rid of the indentations. Now I've sped it up big time here. I think it's about eight times the speed. I'm no way, shape, form, fashion going that fast. I don't recommend going that fast. Also, the heat temperature I have it on is low at this point in time. I did change it to high when I did my other books. I liked it better on high. Just know that you got to keep this thing moving. You can't keep it in one spot. It's just got to keep going. I think I actually, this is on my first book that I did before doing this video. I actually like took some of the black coloring away. You can see that bend right there. I think that'll actually go away in pressing. Rick recommends actually pressing your books after having done this. All right, so here's a good look at the before and the after on it. Like I said, I think they are color breaking. That's why you can kind of still see them to a certain extent. But also, this is like the second book I've ever done too so hopefully I just get better at it as time goes on but I mean I'm really happy with the uh, with the results that I got from it I mean especially on that second 
picture there. All right, that was my check for pressing board video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope this video inspires you to think of all the possibilities that you could actually do within this hobby. I hope that this opens up the door for other books that you may walk past and think, you know, that book's too dirty or, you know, that's really got, you know, and they're not color breaking spine ticks, but they're still spine ticks. I feel like the more that you can do like this makes the hobby better for you makes it more enjoyable so yeah I'm, I'm hoping this this brings you know inspiration to to whoever decides to watch this again thank y'all very much for watching these videos y'all can check me out on Instagram at 22 underscore comics do me a favor also hit that like hit the subscribe hit the notification all that good jazz I greatly appreciate it it really helps out me it helps out the channel and uh, it just lets me know that like y'all are digging what I'm putting out and makes me want to put out more stuff. So I like doing this for y'all. As always, y'all have a good one.